these do it better. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, that's not good. The hoppers aren't working. Ah, right, that's a problem. Okay, let's get this blocked up. Let's go and get that vacuum hopper. Oh, that's not good at all. Right. Oh, lag. Ah. Hey, where's that vacuum hopper? There it is. So, let's stick that in down there. It looks like the spikes are blocking the hoppers, unlike the punji sticks, which have floated on top of it. So, let's just put that, say, here. And get rid of that. Just so light and outputs there. Okay. There we go. That's putting stuff into there now. Yeah, that's working. All right. Okay. That wasn't exactly how I planned it, but. That's good. Okay, I've just been told to listen to the chat before Rawley explodes. Um, what are you up to, Rawley? Okay, then it's just one sec. Yeah, okay, Rawley seems. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's up. Yeah, I'm going to get round to digital storage. Give it a chance. Calm down. Take a Valium. Good Lord. <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't want to do digital storage yet. And it's not going to help me with this particular problem. So, chill, all right? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that is working. And if this looks right, we should be able to do, output the XP now to uh, a barrel or something. I have no idea how that works, so that's going to be an experiment for me. Ah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Let's have that barrel. <laughs> it's just the 28 year old good lord all right okay so let's put a barrel up here i have no idea if this will work okay and just put that there for now and edit this that side is that right that's I have no idea if that will go in there. We'll see how that goes later on. But that's that's good enough for now. Okay, so let's move this down lower. So what I need to do now, quite urgently, is get all the uh, uh, movement, get all the, the, the barrels down here. Okay. Pick up laser gunpowder. Right. Okay, was that uh were you implying something there? By any chance there a bit like you know sort of age twenty eight, attitude hundred and forty seven? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, let's eat some food. Deluxe cheeseburger. Um nom 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 nom. We never did say that you had the monopoly on it. The I attitude 147, perhaps, but not the age 28. Right, so let's start by picking these up and moving them down. Well, 
I think it's fairly safe to say we're all friends here. In fact, I know a song about that. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so let's get these thorns moved. Start filling them up again. Like this. Okay, string. I think everybody gets bullied at one point, and some greater, some lesser. Uh, it's not a pleasant thing, but unfortunately, very true. Actually, I wonder if I can make this neater. Um. Yeah, that'll make it easier. I appear to have lost the barrel. Where the heck did I put that? Is it in here? No. Did I not pick it up? Why can't I get up these stairs? Oh, yeah, okay. I, I didn't pick it up. It lagged back here for some strange reason. Okay, let's grab it now. Yeah, right. We, I think a lot of us would have help. Uh, I think, to be honest, you, my experience at school was that girls were were more vicious. They they held grudges for far, far, far longer. Boys, if they had a real problem, would fight it out or whatever, and that would be the end of it. But girls would let it drag on, and it would get in the end get very, very nasty. So, yeah. Of course, this is the point where Bitlake points out that um, I, I went to school so long ago that the girls um, all wore corsets and couldn't run very far. And I think the irony here is that, uh, let's be honest with you, that is actually a form of bullying, Bitlake. You're very ageist. Very, very ageist. So, let's just get this rubbish bin down on the last of it. Okay, so that's that stuff stored there. And now what we need to do is get it out from the chest and into... Is that filling up? No, it's not. I'm doing something wrong. So I have to investigate that. Oh, sorry, even coming from Naf Landing. It's not a reason. It's not a reason. Just being a bully. Right. Pick this all up. Oh, yeah. And your sound hasn't gone. There's a sound muffler near here because eek. I got sick and tired of listening to mobs dying all the time. And um, yeah, that'll do. All right. Okay. So let's get ourselves a bit of piping action here. Oh, where's me pipe? Oh, there they are. Okay. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do that for a moment. Like that. An outy as opposed to an inny. Put a pneumatic servo in there, and now we need to configure it. 
Okay, so we want it to whitelist only the following items. So gunpowder, um, zombie flesh. These two of them. Let's get the rest. Um, one of those. One of those. One of those. So we'll just go in and whitelist those. Oh. The thing that's going to make me give up this game, to be totally honest with you, is the lag. It's getting utterly terrible as the game is getting more advanced. So whitelist a bone, whitelist some string, and whitelist an arrow. Okay, so those are the things we want to let out, and we'll turn that on. Okay. So put some of this stuff in here. Right, this stuff is building up but not going through because these chests, in all honesty, are actually all full now. But it's not good, so I think we ought to put a last, um, a last one here. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll just put in a last bit of item duct. Um, and actually, when I'm thinking about it, we need to block that off. So if we take a plank of wood, my trusty and nearly dead iron saw. We'll make some covers. I don't know how that is holding on. That is almost completely gone. So what we'll do is we'll block that one there. So and block that one there. So there we are. The as you can see, this this thing has to form a single line. We just folded it up a little bit, and that's that good. Um, there we go. So all the junk is now out, and just the interesting stuff like spider eyes and the zombie brains are lurking in there and we'll just have a look at this later on and see how much um, we get in there see what we need to store I'm not going to say you're going to have to see it from their point of view. The problem with their point of view is that um, they don't want to get involved. And that is just totally wrong. It's a totally wrong attitude because you're, they're supposed to be there looking after kids. Mm, barrel of sewage, anyone? All right. But it's very hard to do that when there's a large emotional involvement when you're dealing with lots and lots and lots of them. That said, it's not the right thing they're doing. So there, that's working. I don't know why the experience is not working. Possi I, well, I, I, to be totally honest with you, I don't particularly want to uh, collect it. I just wanted to have a barrel of the stuff. So I've moved that down. And the next thing I want to do is make um, a proper killing area here so we can get rid of all this stuff we're dropping by here. Just neaten this all up. Give the luggage something to go and nom. All right, we'll just make this a nice flat floor for a moment. Maybe we can get rid of this stuff. Because this was getting to look a bit of a mess, let's be honest here. That. Grab that. Oh. Should have thought about that. Perhaps we'll leave those in for a minute. <laughs> I, I knew I put them in for a reason. Okay. <laughs> right. I actually want to build something down here. I want to build a killing area. And we're going to have to be really careful doing that. So actually what I'm thinking about. Let's get the rapier onto the bar like that 
and let's take out a couple of these okay and let's get those two out as well and we shall put that like that actually let's thicken those up a bit lag Ooh. oh that's why okay we can now step onto there and we'll put that one stood up there like that there we go so now we can get in now we want to stop spiders from getting out up there so let's take another um, oak wood plank and like that and like that okay, so we'll make some pillars here on either side do that yeah, now we can stand in here quite nicely and thump at things they can't see us that should be good and now all we need to do is stop people uh, for creatures from dropping down to the bottom and we're going to do that with some trap doors so just there we go so we'll grab a couple of those and we should put those one there and hmm Let's move these. Just put that there for now and put some wood in its place. Move that one now. There we go, and put some wood in its place. Okay, and let's put that trap door there. All right, so it seems to be a small chance that mobs can fall onto those trap doors, but I'm not too worried about that. It should actually walk off after a little while. Uh, let's just neaten this up while we're waiting. Now you see, he's just walked to his doom. That's good. And if they die, they die. Okay, so now what we should be able to do is close these trapdoors. And some should actually land on there and live, hopefully. Uh, no, they're not, are they? That's too low down. So I think what we need to do is move the whole thing up a couple of blocks, which is doable. Okay, so let's do that. Right, let's get rid of these trapdoors first because they're causing trouble. For example, spiders are landing on them and causing trouble. Okay, so just get rid of all this. Right, that stuff should have fallen down, but it's going to just going to fall into the hopper. It'll be perfectly fine. So we'll clear that off for a second, and then we'll move that up a little bit. And to do that, I might as well make some steps. Uh, and oh, oh, I see what you mean by an Oreo. Okay. Mm. Yes, juvenile. Bullying. It's wonderful stuff, isn't it? Uh, right. Like that. So we just do the whole thing here, I think. There's those pillars. There's those pillars. Okay, so let's cut through here and here and hmm. OK, 
Okay, like that. Uh, actually, no, let's just get some slabs. So like that, and then we'll do the same over this side. Okay, I know there are one or two Buddhists amongst here. Okay, uh, I'm not saying I condone buddying or anything like that, but uh, the important thing about dealing with bullies is not to sink down to their level, because people will act that way. People will fake cry. And you know, people will try to get you into trouble because you've bullied back. It's... Uh, okay, that's the wrong phrase. It's not bullied back, but it, it's it's fought back, really, isn't it? Whoa, they do get a fair clip going down here, don't they? Right, where's those? All oh, this to level up a sword. I don't know. Where's? Let's go and look in here. Uh, this is this is like television for the luggage. It's incredible. Okay. Where's me trapdoors? It's one. Oh, I've only got one. I don't really want the other one. Uh, let's make another set. Okay, two trapdoors. Excuse me. Ah, human anti would be alright if it wasn't full of humans. Right, so one there. One there. Switch to my sword. Yay! There we go, that works. Yeah. Oh. Might need to put a back on this. Let's eat something. Yay, yeah, jetpack. Okay, let's eat something. Not the zombie brain. Let's have a deluxe cheeseburger instead. There we go. Right. There we go, that's working nicely. They're coming down here, they've got a hit point or two. We just give them a little proke, a little pod with our pink sword. Now that sounds wrong, doesn't it? And away they go. Dead. No. Yeah. Yeah, and the sword is layered, layered, layered up. Level, layered up, leveled up. Right, let's open those trapdoors for now. There we go, and then they can just carry on, fall into their doom. And there's something I want to do with this sword. Uh, it's got to do with these nine uh, pieces of cobblestone here. This mossy cobble. So we'll pick all that up and go to a crafting bench. Okay, so if you take these nine pieces of mossy cobble, and you spread them out, get a ball of moss, put that in, and will that work with the sword? It will. There we go. So I've now got auto repair on all of my main weapons. And with a bit of patience, with a bit of work, I can now quite easily level that sword up. So. Stand here for a bit. You're being cocky. You're being a spider. Oh yeah, so we just close the trap doors. Stab things as they land on them. Yep. 
we would look at Damien without elevator music whatever whenever Simon takes a break are you complaining about the elevator music I mean it's, it's one less button press for me to not turn it on whoa I was not expecting that no, oh, well, never mind. Right, and dead, and yeah, those spiders are too cocky by half. Right. <laughs> yeah I've been experimenting with putting music up on the um, when you guys are waiting because it's only polite mm. oh it's powered up yeah right yes right that's enough of that right stop that okay so let's have a look at my sword now all right skill level of customs auto repair and smite very nice. Okay, so that is working. Now all I do just need to do is make sure that nothing falls out of it. If monsters land on the edge of those trapdoors to survive, they will just walk off. I'm quite comfortable with that, so we'll put that back there. There we go. Oh, it's looking better part already, isn't it? Nice. Okay, there's one last thing I want to do on this. And I want your opinions on it, okay? I want to put some more glass on the front of this because I think it looks great and I'd like to see the mobs falling. Um, the first time I did it, I put did use this swirly glass because I actually had some. But I'm thinking that another way of doing this might just to do a clear glass column all the way up. What do you guys think? What do you think would look better? So I'm going to put one column there, I think, and one column there. So that's, that's the way it looked like from here. Clear glass column. Okay, so we have one vote for the swirly glass, but most people are saying clear glass. Okay, right, well, two votes for the swirly glass. I don't think it's enough to save it, though. Okay, so we will go for the clear glass. So, just go and grab a chunk of sand. Making clear glass is really, really time-consuming and boring, so what I'll do is I'll do that, but that particular bit between episodes and you can see it later on but first of all let's let's go and grab half a stack of sand here and then we'll take that let's cheat let's take the shortcut Whee! there we go and there you go let's just put that in there and I'll melt a lot of that over time okay what's the time 11 o'clock uh, I, I hate to say this guys okay I'm, I'm really really sorry about this but I am feeling really really ill and I'm getting worse and worse as we're going on so I think it's I think it's going to be time for I, I'm going to I'm going to call it early to, today so um, I do apologize but I hope you guys have had a good time this evening uh, Bioshock was a bit different and I, I think the whole thing was uh, overall was enjoyable. What are you doing down there? Just don't want to know. Uh, so, <clears throat> shut off. Perch on the edge there. That might be a problem. I might actually have to do something about that, but we'll see. But actually, and so until the next time. Yeah, I need some chicken soup. Um, no, so okay, so until next week, um, thanks for so many people coming along. I think this is one of the biggest live streams I've had in a very long time. I know a lot of you are new, so I, I'm sorry that this was not exactly the most sparkling one I've ever done. And I hope I'll see you all next time. So until then, uh, guys, thank you and good night.